Yeah, look, you don't change a winning team. That's not something we've said often for this San Jose Earthquake spot. Going on the road, they're not changing that back line. Kyrie Shelton was good recently at that right, right back position, an attacker. That's now they try and see if they can back it up here tonight and make it back-to-back -back wins for the first time in 2024. There is the opening first half whistle from Fatis Bazakos. And we are underway here at PayPal Park. So the visitors will line up a free kick about 40 yards out from William Yarrow in the San Jose goal. Direct ball chipped in, headed back across. When you're not confident defensively, you start to make those poor decisions that they needed to increase the intensity and the tenacity of the team, which he is seeing over these last couple of matches from the team. That's something that you can build on as a foundation. Talked about building confidence back into this pocket for Tim Leibold. Tough ball to handle, and he got his left foot up in the face. Uh, at a nine. Free is going to be sending that to his friends. Ball intended for Vargas. Pops loose on the second bounce for Polito. Overlapping run. Polito! And a big save. Biggest save of the night there. Shuffling of bodies there. Here comes the service, driven into the near post. Actually a really good ball there with pace. They can flick that on. Now we go the other way. Let's see. Vargas has the speed for sure. Polito on the overlap. Polito, it's Vargas still going. Polito on the overlap. Polito! But the offside flag is up. And we see here just driving at the ball with pace, and it's all about when do you release, when do you release. And at that moment, Daniel Mooney, he, he engages and then starts to back off, and at that moment, you get that really strong assets off the bench. You're trying to manage the load of your team, but to bring in a Shalloway, to bring in a Russell at the halftime, and a Voltaire as well. Tommy chopping it onto his left foot! And just like that, the firepower! It's Eric Tommy! Blistering shot into the corner, and Sporting Kansas City had the lead. About the sparks off the bench, it's actually Eric Tommy who's been on the field. Unbelievable cutback. Classic fake shot on the right foot, cuts it back to the left with a great setup, and then just strikes it phenomenally well to the right-hand side of a William Yarbrough who's unable to lay out or even set his Little feet. Little tiny moments and details. Like Shelton driving up the field to create space, allow the team to come up underneath and keep possession. Through ball for Polito. Polito. Polito makes it two. And the flag stays down. That one will count. And what a surge from Sporting Kansas City. It's 2-0 here in the second half. Makes it play efficient on the road. Again, no pressure on the ball. You see that gap between the center back and the wing back. Far too large. That's where Costa has to play inside to out in that situation or recognize. Daniel Mooney has to step over, or Tanner Beeson rather. They get beat in Pulido when he's in behind the back line. This is a quintessential goal scorer. He's able to pick out the corner that he wants, slots that one home. Well timed run, well timed pass to get that crucial second goal. A list you certainly don't want to be on. Long distance from Leibold. And an absolute rocket. San Jose trying to get numbers back behind the ball. Shallowy square ball for Russell. Russell, a little hesitation through the legs of Costa, but into the gloves of Yarbrough. It's really a reflection of the quality of this group. There's a ton of talented players, but it's been that kind of season. They're in good positions. They don't reward themselves for the hard work, and now they just look like a fraction of what they looked like in the first half. Great sequence from Sporting Kansas City. String together the passes for Russell, looking for the far corner. And it's a foot or two outside the post. Off the bending ball. Plenty of air underneath it. It gets all the way to the far side of the 18 for Espinosa. He'll cut inside, left-footed shot. But it's a routine save for the veteran keeper, Tim Melia. Good vision to play it inside, and now it's Polito out wide for Shallowy. Tommy on the overlapping run, back inside for the Mexican, and top of the area, Shallowy! Claims for a handball against Alan Polito. 
So the man who is currently responsible for the game winner as of now, Eric Tommy to deliver the corner. Seventh on the night for Sporting Kansas City. Castellanos, the target on the back post. Russell will keep it alive. And a little two-man game with Tim Leibold. Signals cross, Preston Judd steps into the passing lane and here comes San Jose out in transition. Pellegrino, full head of steam inside and a chance to cut in half. Back post and it's into the back of the net. It's going to be an own goal, but it counts nonetheless. And the Quakes have life in San Jose. They made all of the attacking runs in a variety of spaces, and the ball somehow finds the net. Commitment, Rogo. Yes, it's a bad ball from Russell, and you see Voltaire coming back just to delay the game. It looks like maybe they've lined up one against one, three against three, but that commitment to go forward from Skein creates that opportunity there. And then the cutback from Pelle to Pellegrino just creates that own goal. And that's just pure commitment, desire, hard work to create something out of nothing. We press, we press together. We take those calculated risks to win the ball back. Spartan possession. Skein, the intended target. It's stoppage time here for San Jose to rescue a point tonight. Service out in front, punched away by Emilia. Marie will send it back out wide to the penalty spot. Loose ball. Judd had a chance to hit it and it's tackled away by Castellanos. Is there one more look here? Castellanos, just a blind clearance. Voltaire. And there is the full time whistle from Alexis da Silva.